come back to further solutions uh, academy. Further <laughs> solutions academy. Encourage us more, help us to share our video and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Help us to press the subscribe button. We have over 200 videos on this platform. It means you can come to this platform and learn any topic of your choice and to be very okay with you. Be very okay with We have uh, more mathematics, more of physics, and few of chemistry. Uh, thank you so much. Please encourage us more to share and uh, subscribe. And uh, presently, we need a lot of things. We need a lot of things. With this line, you can call us. With this line, you can WhatsApp us. And with this line, you can Telegram us also. We need a lot of things. We need marker. We need we need a larger board. We need a better camera. Anyhow, you can contribute to this platform. No amount is more. You can join us. Thank you. you. Can call us on this. You can even drop your email, drop a message on our email. We will surely be attended to. Once again, for that solution, that I mean, what I have on this video, I'll be working on this. I don't know if there will be more example. I may not be able to cover with these two type of now, which is type of machine. I'm um, we'll be talking about the pool or block or tackle system, the inclined plane. The screw, the wheel, our has, and the jack wheel. Now, these are the things I have for you on this video. I may not be able to cover everything. It means it may continue on the next video, which is the type. Now, let's continue. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now, the first one which I'll be talking on, I'll be talking about um, um, the pool, the pool, the or block, which is also known as tackle system. That is what I'll be working on. Now, in this part, we'll be talking about in a block, in a block, and tackle. Or pull, pulley system. The velocity ratio, which is we all know that VL, we have done that. VR, we have done that in is um, is equal is equal to the system to the number to the number of pool the number of pulley in the system in the system which um what we are trying to talk about there is that uh, we are saying that um, now we are saying that now what we are trying to say there is that uh, the ratio the ratio the I mean is the ratio okay is the VR equals to number of ropes supply or supporting Supporting the pool equals to number of pulley in the in the system. That is very very important. That is what we are working on on this video. Now, what are we trying to say there is that uh, um, it's a very common part of physics, which is, we always see it in our exams. That um, now with this, we will understand it better when I start applying it 
to a real life situation. Now, let me quickly apply one or two things, which is example on this cooling or block or tackle system um, machine. Now, huh, this one always requires diagram, which is I will show one or two examples. Now, the diagram below, this is below, represent a block, a block and tackle. Fully system on which an effort of fifty newton is just able to lift a load of weight W if the efficiency of the machine is 40 percent find the value of the of find the value of W and speak about this. Now this is the diagram. All this is supposed to be done in our lab anyway. Don't mind us. God will help us anyway. Now I'm trying to draw the system This is the load, which is W. Now this is the now the system is um one two three There's connectivity between them, which is the efficiency is equals to 50. I mean, uh, the effort is equals to which is the from somebody dragging it back, which is new 20. Now, solution to this problem that is diagram talking about. Now, if I have something like this, the first thing I will do is my what effort. My effort, which is E, it will be equals to 15 Newton. My load, which is L, it will be equals to W, which is the weight. My efficiency, which is, it will be what, 40 percent. Now, we are looking for the what? Velocity ratio. My velocity ratio, which I don't know, which is, I mean, my velocity ratio is equals to, now, I have all this, and I'm looking for the what? I'm looking for the, find the value of W. Where I will come from is the what? Is the load that I want to look for. With what is on ground, I can say that um, velocity ratio equals to um, number of pull, number of pull, number of 
pool. Now, number of pool, that is my velocity ratio. Now, how do I get number of pool? How many number of pool am I having? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let me make it six. Try to be fine. Now, one, yeah, connect. Them. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, number of pool, which is what? Six. Number of pool is equals to what? Six. Since I know as that, that is six. Now, I will know that my efficiency equals to mechanical advantage divided by uh, velocity ratio multiplied by what? 100%. I've told you earlier, uh, before you watch this video, make sure you watch the video before this. It's very important. Now, which I can say that my mechanical advantage equals to efficiency multiplied by velocity ratio divided by uh, 100 divided by 100 okay now it means i can now say that um, okay yes divided by 100 now it means i can now say that what my mechanical advantage which is it to be equals to my efficiency is 40 multiplied by my velocity ratio is what is 6 divided by what 100 this we cancel this what am i cancel? don't forget this will give me this i've told you earlier which is my mechanical advantage equals to um, this times this which is around the 20 uh, 24 which is i'll be having 24 divided by which is 2.4 2.4 now i have 2.4 uh i have 2.4 which is my mechanical advantage as 2.4 now i will now say that also now i will now say that uh, also also my mechanical advantage equals to load all over what uh, efforts equals to load all over efforts now it means my um my load equals to mechanical advantage multiplied by efforts now what is my effort is 50 mechanical advantage is what which is my load equals to two point multiplied by this is going to be uh low i mean my effort is 50. now which by multiplying which is i'm to press my calculator now i will have it as um okay i will have it as um uh, 120 newton my load equals to 120 newton that is what i'm looking for that is all what i need in that part of the question now Okay. Okay, now let me another question before we go to the next one, which is an client. Now the velocity ratio and efficiency of a of a system of pool are six and eighty percent respectively how much effort is required to lift a load of mass 
120 kg weight. This system or with this system, taking your gravity as 10 meter per second squared. Solution to this question. Now I have this question and I need to tackle it. How would I tackle it? The first thing I will do, my velocity ratio, which is a habit of 60, my efficiency is 80%. What again, my mass, which is what? 120 kg. Now, I can answer that my efficiency equals to M all over VR multiplied by 100%. Now, my MA equals to efficiency multiplied by VR divided by 100, which is also implies 80 multiplied by 6 divided by 100, which is, this will cancel this, which are we having 48, 4.8, 4.8. Now, I will now say also, my MA equals to L all over load. I mean, over effort, which is my effort can be equals to L all over what? Mechanical advantage. Now, which also is simply 1, 120 divided by uh, 120, no, 1,200 because I have to convert this to weight, sorry. I have to convert it to weight by multiplying by what, 10 which is to be 1,200 Newton now. Now, it will be divided by 4.8, which I'll be having uh, 250 watts. It means my effort equals to 250 watts. That is all. That is what? That is all. Now, okay. Okay, now. Okay, now. Let me move on to type 2, which is I've explained the type 1 very well. Tackle our pulling system. Now, let me now explain inclined, inclined plane. Now, inclined. Inclined. Now. <clears throat> let me explain inclined uh, plane. Now, when we talk about inclined plane, uh, which I've explained in that in our previous video, that um, the first thing we understand there, we have two things that we need to understand: mg sine theta, which is what parallel to the plane, and uh, also mg cos theta which is perpendicular perpendicular to the plane now we all know that my sine theta therefore my sine theta is equal to h all over what l my h all over what L. Please take note of that. Very, very important. Equals to H all over L. Now, with this, with this, we can do one or two things to to um, explain this part very well. Now, with this, we can do. Now, when I have a question, this one on. For okay, okay, now I can say that my sine theta equals to h all over l, which is, um, I can say if my h is 2.5, and my this is equals to this, which is my sine theta equals to 0 0.5, which we have done that my theta equals to sine inverse of 0 0.5. Which theta will be 30 degrees. That is how to generate angle. I'm just 
illustrating anywhere. Now, with this my illustration, let me quickly generate one or two examples that will really help us to, to go on those parts. Now, let me, before I go, let me generate one or two examples. Now, for the object to be pulled up the plane, it must overcome the opposite, opposing friction, frictional force, F, and the parallel, and the parallel component, component of the load. M G sine theta, which we have now. Therefore, the maximum, I mean the minimum effort, the minimum effort, it will be equals to um, my effort equals to M G sine theta plus force which is effort can be equal to m okay can be equal to m force and theta plus theta now it means if i have something like this i can now continue and uh, and uh, note that very very important note that very very important now Okay. Okay, due because of time, I will continue from where we stop in our next video. I'm just trying to explain in client plane with I will try to explain with a with a example this time around. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Uh, help us to share and also subscribe if you have not subscribe before help us to subscribe and um, if you want to meet us just meet us on this number with this number you can call us you can whatsapp us and telegram is allowed once again thanks for watching